Welcome to Fouts Boxing Theory, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Sonny Edwards versus Jesse Bam Rodriguez. So, let's get a look at Sonny Edwards here, take a look at how he comes to the line. Some explosive ones, uh, hands down. Not a lot of fainting exactly, right? When he comes to the line, he always comes to the line in this bladed stance here. So when he gets there, you know he's always ready to punch. And this guy not really having a difficult time um, interacting with Sonny, seeing his punches coming. And I do think, here's a pull counter, by the way, at the end of this sequence, that Bam Rodriguez is a much better fighter uh, than that gentleman we just saw. Now, again, a pull counter here. And very interesting, he throws the rear hand probe here, jumps on the line, throws the shot here, pull throws a body shot now it's very interesting because see how he chases him uh, Sonny Edwards is pretty good at getting off the line but he's going to shift here and then throw a lead hand so it kind of winds up being a jab but he's able to follow up on his rear hand attack here or his rear hand counter um, this is something that I don't think that uh, Bam Rodriguez is very good at and I just wanted to point that out here um, but getting to the line with a rear hand pro boom, checks the line gets the pull counter, makes him miss. And the pull counter is actually one of Bam Rodriguez's most uh, most used forms of defense, okay? But he's able to follow him back and get him to, you know, commit a foul, duck below the waist, and then grab his opponent by the waist. You're not allowed to grab your opponent's body. This isn't wrestling. Um, um, when, you know, he still didn't get hit, but that's not the point. No. Whoops. What does the fight look like if Sonny is winning, right? He's going to be coming to the front foot, stepping with his jab. And stepping with the jab is very, very, very important because Sonny doesn't actually have very many jabs that aren't stepping jabs. Now, getting to the line, fainting here. He has complete control of his opponent, keeping his opponent on the outside, easily able to step in with the jab and get off the line. <clears throat> and that's kind of what the fight looks like. That's what Sonny Edwards is trying to accomplish. He's just trying to keep you on the outside. But if we look at this, his opponent here, he doesn't have the highest of high guards. He's not really defending punches or blocking punches very well. Um, and Bam Rodriguez has a much, much, much better guard uh, than that gentleman. Now, Sonny Edwards has a few circling flaws when he's moving around and circling his opponent. Um, and one of those flaws is, you know, like most people, he's going to pivot on the front foot here with his head on the front foot. And uh, his left arm is down, okay? It means he's going to be more likely to be hit. And if we take a look at this position here, right, if we if we remember Progray versus Aria, Progray threw a one here and then threw a two right after and caught the guy while he was leaving the line. Um, and Bam Rodriguez is very good at the one-two, like most good fighters, right? Now, this is not just a one-off thing here, right? Here he is doing the exact same move, pivoting on the front foot. And here's the thing. We know it's a trap. He does this every fight, right? We know. But he doesn't have his hands up. So the second punch is going to be much more easily able to get to him because this is also not Bam Rodriguez's first fight where he sees his opponent do that. This is one of those things that Bam Rodriguez is able to take advantage of against a lot of fighters. We're going to see a little bit of those clips as well. Now, getting to the front foot here, boom, and he's getting timed here. Boom, slips times a shot. Ben Rodriguez is also very good at this shot. And because of the way that Sonny, Rod Sonny Edwards moves around, constantly moving his feet instead of his hands and his head, because he's that's how he achieves an active guard. That's how he maintains not being on the line with his opponent long enough for them to land a really heavy shot uh, by moving his feet. It's really easy to see when he's going to get his feet into position to punch and to counter him. And I think that that's going to be a um, a huge problem for Sonny going forward. Is again, not only is he his footwork, you know, kind of predictable getting to the line. Again, like amateurs, here he is pull counter. Now the pull counter missing here. Very important that we see that it misses. Check this out too, though. Let's go back one clip here. Okay, he's going to jump on the line, jab. He sees the counter here. Ah, gets scared off the line. He's going to give him that same move here. Jump on the line, gets the counter, jumps off the line, and countering here. He kind of set a trap here. But look at how many beats away this is. If we see him 
set this sequence up here. Boom, 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 boom. A pull counter is supposed to be really quick, right? So I'm not very confident in Sonny Edwards' ability to take away uh, Bam Rodriguez's um, offense with pull counters, with his own counters. Um, I think that... Um, Sonny likes to punch with you a little bit. He'll drag you off your line, right? Stuff like this, right? De decent traps, pull, boom, comes back, gets off the line again. Um, <laughs> same clip, there you go. But I think that uh, Bam is going to be much better at guarding the line than this guy. He's going to be much better at finding those those counters. Coming forward, pull. Again, the pull counter, not always super effective against Sonny because he can get his feet off the line so quickly. Fainting here, stepping jab here, pull. Pushes him off the line. Decent defense, moving off the line. Decent. It's decent. But um, Sonny Edwards likes to punch with his opponent. He also throw hooks moving back, and Bam can throw combinations. Bam also likes to punch with his opponent. Okay, now again, the same timing. Jab, he's jumping off the line, throws that punch, he misses. Again, because of the timing of his counters, is uh, it's not correct. He's looking for um, a different, more amateur-like counter. Um, because again, Sonny Edwards can't move his head, right? He can't move his head and punch, he has to move his feet. And in order to get his head off the line, his feet have to move, and that makes his punches take forever. Now again, getting countered, jab, he tries to counter with the hook off the line. There's another beat there, penduluming forward, almost moves into this big overhand here from his opponent. Um, again, the countering stuff that Sonny Edwards does is very, very amateur. It's very athletic. Um, and the interesting thing, another interesting thing about this fight, again, here we go, coming forward with the rear hand, pushes him off the line, follows it up. Um, again, this would be the timing where he would throw a two. And then see that right hand from his opponent? He would want to throw this as a leaping cross or a leaping uh, right hook. Um, but Bam does not have that that move, really. His left cross, his stepping left cross is uh, not very good from this position. Um, you know, it's not that hard to learn if you've got a good base. And for the most part, his structure is pretty good. He's a decent power puncher. Um, but um, chasing Sonny Edwards, very difficult. Very difficult. And one thing I was going to say, the amateurish style from, now that's a landed body shot from his opponent going to the body instead. I don't know how often um, Bam goes to the body there, but Bam likes to go to the outside of the body. He likes to go to the liver here. We'll have a, take a couple of clips of that. But seeing the shot, right, the head shot was not landing from, um, from Thomas. I think that was his name. So he's going to go to the body. And this is a shot that Bam is actually pretty good at. Um, so even if the headshot doesn't land, um, the body shot I do think will be there for him. But as we as we delve a little into the athletic style, right, hands down, feet moving a lot. Um, with this guy uh, not really having his hands up as he approaches the line all the time, um, Sonny would get a lot of control over him with the first punch that he would throw. And I don't think that's going to be the case with with Bam, I think Bam's going to be able to come through the multiple layers of Sonny Edwards. You know, I think he's got maybe two, and he's going to come forward. He's going to break the first one down, um, be able to easily interact with the first punch that Sonny throws every time, and uh, um, put a lot of pressure on Sonny. And I think that that's going to make Sonny tire. Now, he controls him here with one punch lands the second punch. Sonny doesn't know where the second punch is going to come from. He doesn't know where it's going to go. He doesn't really have any all that much information. Um, and again, I think that as Sonny is circling and moving around, he's going to be really suspect to things like just quick one-twos um, because on average, his defense is not that good. He relies on moving his feet. Pull counter, boom. Now, Sonny Edwards has taken a big step here on the line. If we take a look, big step on the outside, throws this shot, easily pulled. Again, Bam is a better fighter than this guy. And Sonny Edwards, in spite of the fact that he's pretty slick, he's pretty smooth. Again, it's pretty amateur. He's not as sharp as Bam, so he's going to not be nearly as sneaky as Bam, winds, as 
spam can be. And I think that Sunny is going to give away his attacks much, much, much more frequently. Shifting forward when he wants to land this shot, by the way, um, being forced to because, you know, he's not very snappy. He has to throw all his momentum into this shot. So shifting forward with the rear hand, with the rear leg. There we go. Um, and that push him, pushes him forward. It doesn't let him step off the line anymore. Again, the way that he knows how to move his feet is by stepping. And now he can't, and he's going to interact with him. So if he tries to interact with Bam and try to hurt him, which would be silly because he could never hurt Bam, um, he's not nearly a hard enough puncher. Um, and Bam actually is a puncher, you know, a pretty decent puncher. Now, um, very interesting. Okay, this is Bam's favorite game. Okay, meeting his opponent on the line. Boom here. And again, if he meets him on here with the with his hands down, he's going to be able to catch him with crosses like this all fight long. Um, and Bam is very very good at timing you, making sure that you're coming to him when he throws that shot. Now again, not hard to see his moves coming. Stepping jab there. <clears throat> Now we're going to get into some um, Jesse Rodriguez clips. And uh, as we see here, his opponent getting on the line, throwing a jab. He's trying to parry it. I think it might touch him a little bit, anticipating, fainting as he gets to the front foot. And the, you know, very high guard from Bam, you know, so very, very difficult to push him off of his line off the first punch. And now as he sees Quadros getting to the front foot, boom lightning jab smacking him here and getting off the line after now again he's already dealt with a style very very similar to <clears throat> um to some of what uh uh sunny edwards does again getting to the line here rear hand coming sunny edwards has a you know decent rear hand he's a little bit faster than quadros i think but uh, not as good defensively on the line, which means that even if he is a little bit faster, his hands are down, it's still going to be pretty easy, I think, to see coming. Now, again, decent guard from Bam interacting with this shot, seeing it coming, still seeing this shot coming when his opponent throws multiple punches at him. Um, again, Bam has a decent guard, decent defense, and again, Getting to the line here, here's that jab as they meet on the front foot here, just like Sonny moves again with his lead foot, timing him right over the top and cracking him with that, and then following it up with another shot. Um, and again, that because of the fact that this guy's throwing a punch with him, boom, coming with him, it makes it harder to get away from this shot. And I think that this might be one of the most effective sequences for Bam, especially early in the fight. Um, finding a way to get onto Sonny's line because, again, Sonny moves his feet a lot. And if he can learn to punch with Sonny, which, again, he's he's already shown that he's very, very good at, Sonny's not going to have a lot of time to circle. Now, here he is again doing that circling thing that Sonny likes to do, but he does with his hands down, and we immediately see him interacting him with a jab. He's about to make it to the front foot. Boom. Cracking him with this shot here. Now, the only thing about this fight that's, you know, interesting in this regard for scoring is that because Bam Rodriguez scores primarily with his jab, he's a very jab-heavy fighter, Sonny Edwards is too. If people are not giving Bam the credit for his more powerful jabs, if Sonny outlands him by two jabs per round, but his are powerful jabs, they could steal the fight from him. You know, and this is like an interesting wrinkle uh, because I want to say that Bam is not really a finisher. Now, again, watch his opponent, front foot, back foot. He's about to rock to the front foot. Here comes that jab over the cross. Boom. Catches him with that shot. And again, I think this is something that's very easy to do against Sonny because his lead hand is always down. He's always making it to the line with his lead hand down. Circling here. Very, very, very easy to hit with the cross. Very, very easy to hit, set up. Boom, boom. Um, and again, Bam pretty good at following it up, making additional offense off that timing. <clears throat> but now, again, great cross. Great one, two. Again, great counter as well. 
um, after getting countered. But Bam is kind of a like a one punch at a time fighter. He will throw combinations where he'll throw like a one, two, three and stuff, but he's not really, you know, he doesn't really push his advantage once he starts winning the fight. He still kind of fights pretty conservatively. Beautiful move here, by the way. Excellent counter. Let's go ahead and break that down. Jab. And then he pendulums forward. Bam sees it. Pushes him. Faints him. Gets a little bit of control of the line. Now here he comes. Boom. Touches the first jab. Again, Bam is very good at getting control of the first jab. He sees it coming. And the guy tries to throw a double jab. And Bam throws the counter over the top in the middle of his sequence. Again, um, the first punch from... Sonny Edwards, the first control, is going to have very, very, very little effect on Bam. As Bam's defense is so good, it's so tight on the line, that it's not going to disrupt him. He'll be able to stay in this position and wait for another attack or counter. You know, there are not a lot of, you know, there's, as we, you know, let's take a look at a couple of more clips. But again, boom, boom, excellent defense from him. But let's take a look at a couple more clips before I talk about how I think the fight's going to play out. Now again, excellent, excellent shots. Easily interacting with him and splitting his guard here. Interacting with that jab, blocking it, seeing the next one coming, crossing the line and countering him. Um, that's something else that Thomas was able to do to him as well. Getting on the line with the jab here. And then into the one-two. Very, very quick one-two. Again, very, very difficult to fight against uh, Bam. Now, uh, shifting forward, again, just wanted to kind of point that out again. Um, when he does go for other offense, this is his best offense here. Now we got a couple of clips against uh, Jesse versus this guy, Christian Gonzalez. And this is an interesting fight. Uh, I think this one you know, overall might be a better, a better film study for what might happen in, um, in this fight with Sonny Edwards. But I want to point out a few things first off. Well, let's, let's take a look at the clips. We only got a couple clips, but he's going to come forward, gets on the line, boom, stepping jab here, bah, times him pretty well. He moves off the line. His hands are down, interacts with that one real quick, gets hit with the second jab, coming forward, hands are down again pull counter when he gets on the line but stuff like this you know very very uncharacteristic for for bam getting hit with a shot like this his hands being down um eating a shot he didn't do that very much against quadras at all and one of the things that that might say is because that guy was moving so much his footwork was you know his circling his circling around the ring was so good that um you know Bam was kind of stressed trying to keep up with him, trying to be fast enough to keep up with him. Um, but this guy fades a lot in the fight. And uh, here's a pull counter. And then Bam goes to the body again, sits down, throws the one, throws the two. Very, very similar to our boy Sonny Edwards. Body shot, liver counter. Very, very good shot. Um, now, before we take a look at this clip, actually, I'll talk about what I think is going to happen in the fight. So early in the fight, I think that Sonny Edwards is going to look okay. He's going to be moving around. He's going to be throwing a lot of punches. He's going to be ergasheving the shit out of our boy um, Jesse Rodriguez, throwing his load at it, throwing as many punches as he can. You know, not as many, but a lot of circling, a lot of jabbing, a lot of circling with the jab. A lot of probing, maybe a lot of throwing a rear hand and then tying him up. But most of all, he's going to be using a lot of energy. And that still doesn't mean he's going to be winning the rounds because um, when he throws that jab too close to Bam and Bam's going to be trying to be close to him, uh, Bam's going to counter him. He's going to hit him over the top. It's going to be an easy shot. He's going to hit him with that shot a lot. And as... Sonny Edwards realizes he can't just throw punches at him. He's going to either keep running and circling and giving up ground, or he's going to let Bam get closer to him, and then that's going to allow Bam to do stuff like this. So Bam's going to throw this rear hand here, throws that shot to the body, 
He waits for the counter, gets under that, and then comes back with his own counter. But this is late in the fight with this guy, Gonzalez, um, and the guy finally started slowing down. The guy finally started giving up ground and allowing Bam to be the aggressor, I'll say. Fainting here, going with the jab here. Here comes the counter off the line, and then coming back with the two. And as soon as Sonny Edwards finds himself in a position where where Bam Rodriguez is going first, everyone will have known probably the round before that happens that the fight was over. Um, that'll be the worst thing that can happen for Sonny Edwards in his fight with um, Bam is that he starts letting Bam go first. But the problem with that is Christian Gonzalez here did, you know, a decent job. He won a couple of rounds against Bam. Um, but that dude's five foot seven. Five foot seven and a half. Bam is five four. Sonny is apparently five three. They say that Bam has sixty seven inch reach. Sonny has sixty inch reach. Okay. Um I really don't think that Sonny Edwards is gonna be able to keep Bam off of him. It might take two or three rounds, but we'll all know who's going to be winning the fight down the stretch, you know, and I, if Bam, again, Bam's not super, he doesn't really press his lead at all, like, he won't just throw punch after punch after punch, it'll be, always be a sequence, and then be safe, and then a sequence, and then be safe, you know, nothing wrong with that, but, you know, if you're gonna win the fight, if you just keep punching him in the face, you know, maybe, yeah, you know, I don't know, Carlos Quadros, man, do you really want to get stuck on his line if he Catches you with a couple of shots? Pfft, probably not. Rung Visai? Definitely not. Anyway, all that said, Bam is not really a finisher. He can he can finish. If he catches you with a good shot, he can hurt you. I don't doubt that with Sonny's style that he's been hit with a few good shots. And in the pros, it takes more than one. So what I think is going to happen, I think that Bam is going to chase Sonny around. Sonny's not going to have nearly as much control with his jab. He's going to get worn down. He's going to run. Um, it could be like a TKO, um, the round stoppage. Um, I don't. I really don't think that Bam is going to stop him unless it's in the corner. Unless like, you know. But I don't think he's going to be putting together so many punches that um. Uh, he'll get it. I think that, you know, Bam fights, you know, mostly conservative fight type defense, good pull counters. He can pull counter the jab. He can pull counter the rear hand. Um, he can go first. He can throw rear, rear hands and then pull. He can throw jabs off the line and then throw rear hands. He's got a plethora of traps. Um, he's pretty decent. Um but he's not a one-punch knockout artist. Um, and the sequences that he puts together don't often lead to, you know, quick knockouts either. So with all that said, coupled with the fact that um, this is obviously the, you know, the most moving guy that he's fought. Like, he hasn't fought anyone that moves more than Sonny Edwards, and other guys have escaped his clutches. I would say that Sonny Edwards is very likely to make the distance. He's going to lose the jabbing war. He's going to lose the rear hand probing war, um, especially if the ones he throws where he wants to hurt him because he shifts forward. Um, overall, uh, you know, I think Sonny is uh, an amateur. You know, I think he's an amateur. Um, he's pretty athletic, but he's not really... He doesn't really have a good pro style, and I don't think that Bam has a very good amateur style. <laughs> I think that he has a pro style for sure. Um, now, with that said, if um, if it becomes a, a war of the jabs and Sonny can just somehow land more, even though Bam Bam's jabs are harder, um, and he can just run and not interact with the rear hand, Maybe Sonny could steal the fight, you know, like Shakur Stevenson. Maybe if Sonny all of a sudden starts going, us, us, and then it sounds like punches are landing, even though uh, 
Shakur Stevenson didn't land on like five punches in the whole fight. Uh, and he got credit for so many. It was ridiculous. Maybe he can do that, you know, assuming again that the judges don't give Sonny Edwards, uh, you know, a point deduction for running and an automatic loss of the round 10-8. Because again, if you refuse to fight your opponent, right, it's in the rules. They're supposed to, you lose the round and you lose a point. It's automatic 10-8. Which, you know, again, most of the rounds Shakur Stevenson versus De Los Santos should have been. Anyway, um, let me know what you guys think in the uh, comments, I guess. I don't know. Um, and if you got training clips, I'll be doing my training video um, after Pro Gray and Haney this weekend. Um, so, yeah, send in your training clips to my – send them to my Instagram uh, at Fouts Boxing. Or you can send them to my email, my email right here, M4RVEL0US. Um, and I'll be doing a free, like a little coaching episode to kind of show you guys some stuff um, and help you guys along your boxing journey. Um, so if you want to learn, send in your clips. And uh, yeah, later, guys.